Hey, hey, guys! Welcome back for another round of Ratchet and Clank. In our last episode, we tackled the logging site in Planet Eudora after dealing with a pathetic coward. Now, we're tackling the Blarg Station at Nebula G34. And our objective today is to explore the space station. So let's get to it! Enjoy the ride, because it's going to be a lot of fun. Believe me. And we have arrived at the Blarg Space Station, and my, 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 for a space station, it looks kind of pizzazz. Ah, whatever. Let's see what we can find. What's this? I got some great yeah, I don't have enough for the taunter, but I'll get it later. Yeah, I only need about a hundred or so just to get it. Let's see if we can explore this place and see what we can find. Not to mention, stuff to destroy. Yeah, as the game progresses, you're going to be getting your hands on more and more bolts. Of course, there is a trick you could do to get your hands on a lot of bolts, but I want to save that for a later video, so that way I could show everyone. I think the COD connection, bro yeah, the COD brothers, and I think another user made videos about it, and I will explain it myself in a later video. And in the meantime, oh boy, this is going to be really bad. Poisonous, noxious fumes. And what's this? Hey, get back here! Get back here! Damn, freak! Thank you! Oh, great! More of them! Terrific! You know, I only gotta deal with these ins these, fro these mutant frogs! Oh, come on! This is not what I had in mind! I'll just blast everything! You know what? Screw it! I'll just use a bomb glove to blast these SOBs! Boom! Ow! Thanks a lot, you freaks! I only now down to two health left! But, whatever. Let's see if we can continue. And it's time we put the bomb glove to work. Yeah, this enemy will fire a shot. Need a little help with these enemies? Try a Gadgetron Taunter. Available at any Gadgetron vendor. As I was saying before I was interrupted, what you just saw was an enemy that fired low. The best strategy for you is to jump. And jumping is your best way in order to like dodge most of these enemies. Most of these enemies, like these. See? He's not that hard, but we gotta do it frogs! God, I hate bullfrogs. Yeah, freaky, scary, icky frogs! Yeah, I dissected a frog once in high school, and it nearly made me vomit. I nearly got sick from it, and I was like, my god. Okay, so I think we have the map, but let's try using the Trespasser. See if we can access some hidden areas. It'll be useful. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this is not going to be easy. Yeah, let's see. No, no. Oh, I got it right here, but I think... Oh, shoot. Looks like I gotta move around so that way I could get this right here. There you go. Very easy if I do say so myself. And whoa! Major stash! Bombs! Uh, freaks! Why do you have to interrupt me for? Seriously! Sheesh! I'll just blast these things around so that way I can get my hands on all the bolts I need. Yeah, like that. Bye bye And again. And again! At least this helps me out a lot. At least I cleaned this place out. That's like fifth, like more than a thousand bolts I got my hands on. And we gotta watch out for these fumes here, because these fumes are really nasty. Really nasty and just... Yeah. And if you think it's air, you lose health. And if you lose all your health, you'll have to start over again, which is disappointing. And I believe we have to go around, which is bad. Very, very bad. I wonder if we can just destroy these things. No, you can't, which sucks. Yeah, we got a ton of jumps right. And made it. Thank God. And I'm down to one health. This is bad. And we made it up. But now we got to deal with these two. And I'm dead. Great. And we're back again. This sucks. But at least we now got enough to get our hands on the taunter. We're going to need it. Hi there, Puzzball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello to you too. That's a real beauty. There we go. Let's get our hands on the taunter. Okay, so how do I use this? Ah, I see. You use it. Okay, that's a pretty stupid weapon. It's not like I'm gonna need it. Not to mention it's a pretty stupid ass weapon. Though it has its advantages. Any weapon, no matter what it is, has an advantage. Whether it be like Wait, Pyrocitor, burn. Burn, you dumb frog, burn. Why didn't I think of that? I could have just used the Pyrocitor right at the beginning. It would have saved me a lot of time with these bullfrogs. Or should I say mutant frogs, but whatever. Let's just test out the taunter and see how it works. Let's see. There you go. 
There you go. Ah! Well, you'll pay for that! Dumb idiot. Okay, let's just take these down. Let's just stick to the blaster, because the blaster is going to be helpful in the long run. And bye bye A wave type of attack? Terrific. That's just nice. Faster! Burn! And I'm down to one health left. No! Alright, and now we take care of things here. Let's just clean out these crates and clean out everything, since we're going to be needing a lot of stuff. And let's continue. Unfortunately, since I already tackled the left side, let's just tackle, like, the right side. Let's tackle the left. And this time, we don't die. Yeah, the controls are kind of, yeah, unexpected. Yeah, it's a bit tough at first, but you'll manage. And three of them? Oh, great. If I don't get up there fast, I'm going to die. And we made it. Nice. Very, very nice. And look, a swing shot. All right, let's just use it to get across. And blaster. Eat blasters. Take that. Oh, crap. Thank you. Hate dealing with these bullfrogs. So annoying. Now what? What's this? Hey, boy. I hate these freaks. Yeah. The other one's asleep? I don't just blast the damn thing. Yeah, you can't blast it, but whatever. Oh, what am I saying? Take this. Yeah, annoying as always. Uh-oh. Gotta run! Yeah, you need to use those dynamite things just to destroy them. Destroy those metal crates that you can't use with regular weaponry. And now we gotta take care of all these bullfrogs. Fortunately, the pyrociter, or flamethrower, if you can put it this way, is very useful in dealing with these enemies. Very useful indeed, though of course you can keep your distance. I gotta make sure to get some leftover bolts. And did we get everything? No, there's still more bullfrogs to deal with. Bye-bye. And bye-bye to you, too. Yeah, that's good. Almost there. I should be able to take down the last of them, but I'm trying to keep my distance so I don't get killed. Unlike the later games where you can use the strafe, this one can't, which sucks. And I gotta take you down, too. Bye-bye. There. Uh-huh. I think that's it. Wow. Not so hard. Now we can rearm. Hi there, fuzzball. Yeah, it's tedious having to do this, but what can you do? At least in the later games, they give you the option to just reload everything, and you don't have to worry about it. And we gotta deal with bullfrogs and those freaky mutants. And these freaky mutants, which suck ass. Eat this. And I'm getting my butt kicked really fast. I gotta set the blaster. Or I gotta just burn them like this. Yeah, run. Run, you little dirtbags. Eat bombs. Ow. You'll pay for that. Take this. Dummies. Sheesh, why is it so hard to deal with these bullfrogs? Bye-bye. Yeah, I got more health again, but I need to get my health re back to full power. Like that. But I need to take down that other one, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now I got some pyrocitor ammo back. But what about reaching the higher edges? Let's see if I can... No, I, I could do that. Let's see. No, no, no. All right, there you go. That's much better. Now we can reach the higher areas and see if we can find anything of interest. Let's see. Nope. Hello, what have we here? Die, bullfrogs, die. And a gold boat. Nice. We're going to need that. I don't know how many I've gotten so far, but I think I've gotten like five or so, but it's good. All right, now that we got a gold boat, I think that's about it. I think that's the only gold boat in this area. Don't worry, I'm going to be making a video showcasing where you can find every single gold ball. Don't worry. Alright, let's check on the other side to see if we can find anything of interest. Let's see... No... Yes, more crates to destroy, that's good. And I think that's it. Yes, that's the only hidden thing that comes across here. Hmm? What's this? Nah, nothing. Alright, now that we got what we need, now we can continue. Let's just take care of these guys from a distance with the blaster! Back up! Back away! Back away! I don't know how to deal with you. Yeah, take that! Yeah, the blaster also has a lock-on feature, which is very useful. Especially since you can, like, lock on the enemies from a distance, and you can just shoot them down. Very useful if I do say so myself. Of course, I could just keep my distance and just shoot these things from afar. Like that. There you go. And also, you can keep your distance. Very useful since it will 
to help us take down these things. Let's see. There you go. There you go. Now I gotta keep my distance on this guy. Or I could just attack from a distance like that. At least I don't have to worry about that. Now I gotta worry about taking care of the last two. Alright. Good. Now to shoot down these two. That's one. Two. And three. Now we can take down the last two and we are done. Fortunately, that thing saved me because if it didn't, I would have lost and that would have sucked. Let's just get these last bolts and continue on our way. We're almost at the 4,000 mark, but as we progress, we'll be getting ourselves more and more bolts. Especially with a neat trick. What's this? Okay, now we got ourselves our first boss. There is actually a skill point you can get your hands on, but you need to keep your distance and basically attack when you need to. Which is not that easy, believe me. You need to keep your distance. After it attacks, then you strike with the wrench. You gotta make sure you don't stay in its path or you're screwed. And now the guy is summoning minions. Minions. Terrific. Now I gotta deal with you guys. I gotta hurry. I don't wanna get I don't wanna lose my health and I'm dead. Terrific. You no know one's screwed. I'm just gonna destroy everything. You are so annoying, and now, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, take you all down. Let's see, Pyrocitor, anyone? Burn! Burn! Burn, Descenders! Chaotic Flame! That's what Dormammu would say right about now. And you die. Bye bye Did I get everything? No, I got everything now. Let's just hope these things are... Oh, crap. Okay, blaster time. Blaster time, blaster time, blaster time. Blast. Blast. I missed? Oh, contraire. This is stupid. Let's just take them down on the left side because I have no time to attack them on the right. Alright, take them down. There you go. Bye-bye. At least with this, I should be able to be all set to tackle the boss. Normally, I would just use like something like the blaster to take them down, but for stuff like this, I need to keep my distance. And I have to use the wrench for this entire fight. You can't use any of your other weapons or else it won't count. Of course, you can just basically keep your distance and do it like this. Like that. And like that. And like that. And I got hit! Gotta move away, and then you attack. Of course, the jumping attack is very useful. I gotta keep my distance and take down these freaks. Oh, damn! Take this. Oh, great. Don't lose my health fast this way. I have to use the wrench, or else it won't count. Alright, now I took my distance. No, you can't use the wrench. Can't use the wrench. Gotta use the wrench. Always use the wrench. There you go. Now we can take you down again. And take down. Did I hit it? No, I didn't. That's more like it. Gotta move away and then counter. Like that. Two of, like, two of those jump attacks and you should be able to drain a lot of his health fast. So I gotta hurry and not get hit by these things. Now what? Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh, again? Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! Ah, oh, great. You know what? I'm just gonna burn everything inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm really angry right now. Because trying to do it with the... Like, how do I put this? The wrench alone is not easy. I'm just gonna, like, burn everything inside. Burn, burn, burn. And take you down. Gotta keep my distance. Not to mention, they run away like cowards. Yeah, bye bye Yeah, bye 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 bye, -bye. That should take you guys down. Little no effort, believe me. Alright, so now we gotta take care of these two frogs, and we're done. I can't believe I ended up losing twice. I at least know what I need to do. It's not my fault I'm doing badly, it's just that the enemies can be a bit tougher. Made worse is the fact that you need to, like, do this without using your other weapons in order to get the skill points. Yeah, you get skill points by completing certain challenges, like... How do I put this? There's one challenge where you have to, like... Like, swing shot your way to the other side without touching the floor. And other times you have to, like... Like, for this example, you have to defeat baddies by using only the wrench. And that's it. That, I think, is my one complaint with it. Of course, with this type of method, you could just deal out major damage this way. Just two of these at a time, keep your distance, and you'll be able to drain his health that way. And I gotta keep my distance. Ow! Oh, wait a minute. Oh, great. Just what I want. More trouble. And I gotta keep my distance. Alright, good. That takes care of them. I think. 
There you go. Bye bye. Now we gotta keep our distance as we attack twice. Like so. Like that. You drain his health really fast this way. And now he summons out more minions. This is bad. Very bad. Of course, you can just use this to keep your distance. But my best advice for you is just after it attacks, just move out of the way and you won't get hit. Like that. And I can't use my other weapons either, which stinks. I gotta move. Gotta keep... Ah, what the? Alright, that's it. You know what? Screw the challenge. Screw the challenge. As much as I want to do it, I don't want to die. I don't want to keep losing over and over again. And I go, I'm about to die. This is stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid! This is just ridiculous! Alright. You want to play hardball? Fine by me. I'll play hardball the same way as you. Yeah, the Pyrocitor isn't doing me justice. And I died again. Yay. Alright, you know what? Bomb. 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 Bomb everything aside. And I gotta bomb your way through. That takes care of you. And you too. No wonder you suck. And it's no wonder trying to do these challenges are a pain. I should have thought of this in the first place, using bomb gloves just to clean everything out. Of course, since I'm not using the blaster, it's much more effective. And two. There you go. That takes care of that. One, two. You gotta, you gotta use two of these to take them down. And we can just keep our distance here. There you go. Yeah, I'm not. Sp I want to use the blaster for this sort of thing, but I gotta keep my distance. And two of these. And you gotta also time your jumps right so that we can get them. There you go. Now that we're rearmed and re ready, let's try it again. And this time, I hope I know what I'm doing with this. Because if not, I'm just gonna stick to using regular weapons and take the son of a bitch down. Yep. One, two. And after that, you move out of the way. And that's it. Now you gotta take down these guys. Which I can tell is going to be bad. And also, oh, great. I'll just gather around in a group and take you down. And he sends out a few more of them. Got to jump. Nice, nice. Jump. One, two, and jump. That's a pretty useful trick if I do say so myself. Very useful. And he's about to move and attack. Move out of the way. Like that. There you go. Like that. That's a pretty simple trick if you know what you're doing. Like that. And again. And again. Now we gotta move out of the way so that way we can get the other health upgrade. We're gonna need it. Alright, now that we got life up, now we can continue the fight. Come on. Come on. You running away? Come on. Take this. And now he sends out more minions. Two of these, but I got a feeling he'll send out some bullfrogs again. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotta move. And one. Yeah, you can just hit him and then you jump. And a crap! Take that. And take that. And you're done. Bye bye I don't have to deal with you. Now we can take him down with little to no effort. Like that. Two of these jumping attacks, and you can dish out major damage this way. In this case, three. Bye bye And I earned a skill point. Alright. After four tries, too. And I got the silver trophy. Girl trouble. Which basically means you have to defeat the boss without using, like, any of your other weapons. Just use the wrench, and that's it. And since I took care of that, at least after so much trial and error, now we can continue. And hopefully we can find out more information. And so that way we can continue on the journey. Now we can use our weapons again. Bye bye Whew! Thought I was a goner this time. Some nano-wit in genetics must have left the cages open again. You could come down now. Honestly, a gadget engineer deserves a bit more respect if you ask me. So, you are an inventor. Gadget engineer. I create revolutionary devices for Executive Chairman Drek. For instance, Viola. My soon-to-be-patented grind boots. Look, I, I, I need to get out of here so I can find a new job. How about I sell you these? At cost. Sell? After we just saved your scrawny butt? All right, all right. I'll give you the employee discount, too. Employee discount? I like it. Mine. Well, thanks. I'm gonna get out of here while I still can. You've got the grind boots. Grind boots let you travel on rails like this. 
Just jump onto the rail and grind. I'm gonna be relying on these a lot in this game. Not to mention with the grind boots, adds a bit more fun to the game. Let's try it. Wow, nice view of the space station. Pretty nice. You could also use your weapons while you're on grinding, which is kind of cool. Of course, you can't, like, throw your wrench, which really sucks. Of course, you could just jump and like that. Yeah, as long as you don't fall, that is, you'll be okay. You can move left and right while you jump, so that way you could basically, like, reach another grind section. And I think that's it. I think we're done here with this one. Let me just clean things up and, like, get ourselves out of here. Hang on. And I think that's it. That's it for this episode. But before I close it out, let's just rearm so that way we can prepare ourselves for the next level. Yeah, I gotta rearm. 17. Oh yeah, I'm maxed out already. And the blaster. 95. That's and the glove of doom. I'm maxed out already. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we tackle the next planet. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace.